I'm here to catch up with an old friend of mine. Well, she's not really old, but we have been friends for a long time. She travels from place to place, bringing joy to residents of aged care facilities. Her name is Chrissy, and the show is all about, you got it, birds. I can hear one going on now. Let's go and meet her. Good morning. Good morning. Do I look like an old shook? Yes. <laughs> but as long as we laugh, it's all good. So for those of you that don't know me, I'm Chrissy. This is my absolute baby. How beautiful. Would you like a little kiss on the nose? <laughs> oh. Would you like a little kiss on the nose? <laughs> Apricot chicken. <laughs> there we go. And if you just pat, it's ten dollars to nurse a chicken. <laughs> now, interesting fact about these little darlings: they can't fly. They're a flightless chicken, and that's because these aren't true feathers. Um, and she's about a size eight, I think it was. <laughs> the show is a great hit with the residents, and really brings the whole community together. Is she happy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks, Rose. <laughs> oh, oh, Rose! Oh, my God! Oh, so Rose! Cool. <laughs> Congratulations! Straight out the clack of that one. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, that was something, wasn't it? Yeah. Isn't she amazing? Thank you. <laughs> How are all the kids down here? The kids are fabulous. Are they good? Are yeah. they magnificent? They're lovely. Yep. And you've got a fan tail. Yep. So um, what variety are you calling these? Um, apricot and chocolate. <laughs> you can right. see just how much joy the humble chicken can bring. Chook therapy, I call it. I reckon we need to make this a daily experience for the residents. In your wonderful backyard, so to speak, we might just construct something a little bit special. Maybe collect the odd egg. Would you like chickens? Yeah. <laughs> They, they enjoy it. They really enjoy it. There will be so many residents here who will want to look after these chickens. We're going to have to get a roster because otherwise we're going to end up with some obese chickens, I would say. Very well cared for chickens. And we know just the man up to the task to build it. Harry, why is Adam crossing the road? Well, I reckon he wants to get to the other side. <laughs> and here he comes. Hello, mate. Good to see you. What is happening here? Well, Hello, How are you? Kiss a real woman. It's a good thing you're here. Yep, talk right? to me. We just come up with a bit of an idea, right? Yep. We have. Chrissy said to me, look, you know, they love the chooks so much. Wouldn't it be nice if they had a few chooks here to, you know, go and... Oh, permanently. The light bulb moment. <laughs> light bulb it takes moment. a while. Happened, right? It takes a while, Chrissy, but it gets there. <laughs> we need him to build something. We do. Fox proof? Yep. Obviously, you keep the foxes out and the birds in. Yep. So that means good strong wire. Yep. And foxes are in the habit of digging underneath to get in. So a good firm base on it. Yep. Okay? Beautiful. Inside, there's got to be a provision for so a little bit of a perching. Okay. Perching. Uh, um, Egg laying. Yep. yep. And it needs to be high enough, I think, for people to actually get in there. You know, because. Okay, so you want the people to actually go, go yeah. in? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, oh. yeah. Build as quick as he talks. I don't know, but we're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Just build me a square thing here, Leave bit of a it box with, with some wire around the outside, keep the foxes out and the chooks in and give them some shade. That, now I understand, H. Right, That's what we had to say from the start. Let him give it with me. I'll be fine. Trust me, guys. Everything will be fine. Where do I start? H made it very clear that he doesn't want any vermin getting inside this chook shed. So that's things like snakes, rats, and especially foxes. So the first thing I've decided to do is raise it off the ground. I'm using these tree to pine sleepers to make a subfloor. With the addition of joists, the subfloor is complete. Then it needs to be moved into position, and many hands make light work. The subfloor's in place, now it's time to put down the floor and for that I'm using these 50mm hardwood sleepers. They're great because nothing's going to chew through it.
And also, they're not treated, which means they're safe for the chooks. We're ready to start making some walls. Now, I've decided to simplify this a little bit. And the material, I'm just using some 70 mil pine. I'm going to be cladding them with marine ply. And to hold them in place, I'm just gluing and nailing them down. You'll notice in this frame here that I've allowed for this rectangle. And that's because I'm going to cut out the marine ply here, throw a couple of hinges on it and a chain, and make a flap that folds down so you can get to the nesting boxes and get to those eggs. And the good thing about building the walls like this is it basically builds itself. <laughs> the walls are closing in on me. It's kind of freaky. How good's that? While Adam is hard at work constructing the chook shed, Chrissy and I have popped back to her place to meet the chickens that will take up residence. So, Harry, the marshmallows, four of them. Four of them. Aren't they just adorable? Yeah, but they're a bit bland, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Darling, they're plainer than a Jets cracker. But I think we can tizzy them up. Well, I hope so. <laughs> I guess Silky's a great little bird. So I like oh, them. they're the best. Best kept secret. They're just the most adorable thing. They're like cotton balls. Let's let's dye them. What colour? That's what you do. Oh my gosh! This is this is where the magic happens in the Tupperware tray. Red's oh. always the fast colour, isn't it? Oh, that's red. That chicken poo on me. Look, Harry. That's where the smell's been coming from, and you blamed the chooks. You said it was chook gas, and oh my god. Yep, that's it. <laughs> After deciding on four colours for our four birds, we need to put on some protective clothing. Okay. So you're going to put so the dye I'm in there going now? To put this in. How much I mean, are you going to put in? I'm going to put the whole bottle in. The whole bottle in? Because this is just vegetable oh. dye. Oh, Harry, shame. Oh, I that. forgot to give you the gloves. Now, do we put the chicken in there or tip that over the chicken? I think we'll put the chicken in. Oh, wow. Look, this is looking. Absolutely. Blue. Now, the bird doesn't mind. The bird's fine. And it's not hurting the bird in any way, shape or form. You seem to be tipping more on me than on the bird. Oh, I'm days. sorry, Harry. Oh, oh we've got a little splash there. Yeah, we've got a bit of a splash, haven't we? Good, good. Gorgeous. Guys oh. everywhere. Oh, oh, stop it. Stop flapping. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Stop flapping. <laughs> Blue sky, all of them gone. Oh. Nothing but grey skies <laughs> from now on. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of us all? She's struck down by her beauty. We've done one, right? That yep. means we've done 25% of the job. Correct. Okay. And while we get on with dyeing the rest of the chickens, Adam's been busy with the coop. We've got half our shed enclosed. For the other half, Harry wanted it open. So I'm putting up this galvanised mesh and we'll definitely stop those pests from getting inside. The chook shed's coming up a treat now. To finish off on these corners, because corrugated sheeting does have sharp edges, I'm just using this plastic angle. You can pick it up from the hardware store. It's just going to sit on like this and I'll use the roofing screws to hold it in place. And this coop wouldn't be complete without a front door. One for the people to get in and out here, and one for the chooks on the internal wall. The construction of it is exactly the same as the shed. We've got the mesh up the top and the marine ply down the bottom. I suppose you could call it the exit. All right, that is the build complete. Now I need to get Harry's thoughts and see what I need to do inside. All right, Ooh, H. Jeez, that frightened the life out of me. Teach me about perches, mate. Invariably, people fix them to a wall or something like that. So you're trying to clean the place. Yep. The perches are in the way. You can just shovel underneath that. It's a real pain in the neck. So I said to myself one day, H, this is ridiculous. You know? <laughs> Why don't you get a perch as you can move around, you know? I like it. Yeah, how do you do that? Simple. Yep. You get a couple of triangles. OK, hold that up the top. Yep. So it's going to be sort of on end like that. Yep. So the chickens will sit on this. Now, that's not very high off the ground because we're only talking about silkies. Okay. They can't fly, but they can jump. That's it, H. We'll make it work. I'll hold it up just so I can get some marks. I'll hold. Well, yeah. yeah, so I'll just glue both ends up yeah. and we'll slide it yeah. in, yeah? I like it. Get it in the centre. I'm doing my best. Don't no, rush me. You're doing well. You're Don't doing well. Don't rush me. Doing well. I used to have a boss, you know. You know what he used to say? Christmas is around the corner. No, never. <laughs> <around the corner. laughs>
There you go. It's very simple. You can do that at home. Jeez, mate, what's that for? That's for you. You've been working hard. Oh, mate. Oh. Ah. Got the perch. That's as comfortable a seat as I've sat on all day. Yeah, so. right. And we've got our ladder, our little yeah. ramp. It's just to sort of ramp things up a bit, OK? Yep. So we just put all these little bits of half dowel all the way down, and they'll grip that as they go up. Let's, Let's put them inside, mate. Um, we've got to feed them. So, mate, uh, these are just drums. So they go in like this. Fantastic. Follow me. OK? Just turn her around. So now, you can access those nests without having to go into the house as a whole. Yeah, old he shook shed. I love it. <laughs> what a great right. job you've done. That's it, mate. You're a top bloke. It's, really missing, it's missing one thing. What's that? The chickens? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen more colourful chickens in your entire life? Just hope they bring you as much love and happiness as they bring us, and uh, they just love a kiss and a cuddle. So there's only one thing left to do, I guess, and that's to put the birds into the old chook shed. The old Yay! chook shed. Yay! 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 And it's open for business. The old chook shed. So the we're old back. chook shed. <laughs>